YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Q. We're back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sound like Baby Santana in his song Antisocial featuring Slump 6 or honestly, someone comment and let me know how to say his name because I have no clue how to say it. Yeah, like I said, in the video I'm going to show you guys how to sound like Baby Santana on Antisocial. We're going to be using FL Studio. There's going to be a Waves version and a Stock version so you guys could grab whichever one you want. But yeah, before we jump into the video, if you guys don't know who I am, I go by Q. I'm a producer and engineer. I make producing videos and engineering videos and a lot of stuff in between. And currently we are on the last leg of q timber so q timber was basically a 30-day challenge i started for myself where i upload every single day in september and we only have till friday so q timber is coming to an end but if you guys want to stay tuned for the rest of the videos that we're going to post through q timber and a lot more after that you subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified when i upload also check the description for any important links like my instagram you should follow me there my discord great spot to join the community and just say what's up but enough talking let's get an fo also can we get a like for the haircut but real quick, I'm going to show you guys the first step, which is actually heading over to my website, quintababa.com, and just click the vocal templates button. And the first one right now, if you're watching this video, should be Baby Santana. And you're just going to click the anti-social vocal preset. And you can either click the FL Studio stock version or the Waves edition. And then after you grab that, you're going to either receive the stock version or the Waves version, whichever one you purchase. And it's going to be a zip file, so it looks like this. And what you're going to do is just open that zip file and you can drag the folder out to your desktop. And inside that folder is going to be two FST files for the stock version and then three for the Waves. And what you're going to want to do is just open FL Studio and wherever you have those files. Mine is on my desktop, so I'm just opening my desktop. Make sure you have your mixer pulled up in FL Studio. Go to an empty one and just open whichever file you bought and you just drag that straight onto your mixer track and you're set to go. And of course, you're going to want to record. So what I usually do is go to an open mixer track and just go to this menu right here. Drop down to your mic. Mine's input one. And then you want to make sure this button is enabled. This will ensure that you record. And when you initially drop down your input, you're going to notice that you're going to hear yourself and it'll sound like this. You'll be doubled. Just make sure you click on that track and right here, just click this button and you won't be able to hear yourself anymore. And then on your main track, of course, you want to hear yourself with effects. So all you have to do is drop down to your input one or whatever input your mic is set at. And now you can hear yourself. So we turn that off. And one thing, if you do grab the waves version, what you're going to want to make sure is there is an ad lib bus. So when you add your ad lib track, ad lib track will look like this. You might just have to replace this top one. It might be empty for you with whatever auto tune you choose. I choose auto tune pro, but you could use waves tune. It's pretty much the same thing, but you're going to want to make sure you go to your ad lib track and then add the ad lib bus right next to it. And all you do is while you're clicked on your ad lib track, right click and click route to this track only. And then you're all set to go. So you've probably already heard the preview, but let me show you guys what this actually sounds like. So for dramatic effect, we are going to disable all the effects first. This sounds pretty bad but you'll get an idea for what the vocal template actually does. So here's what it sounds like with no effects. And then we'll add all the effects back and you can see it makes one hell of a difference. Yeah, it's as easy as that. And I mean, the stock version sounds just as good. Obviously, the Waves interface is a lot better. And you get a lot less latency when recording, which is a huge plus because that just makes it. Oh, real quick, before we do do anything, of course, a lot of people probably want to know how to do the uh, little double effect. And all I did was just cut the first little part of where I say I. And I just dragged it over a few times, as you can see. That's literally all you got to do. And of course, the ad lib track, I put the first like part of the yes on the lead track and then the second part on the ad lib track. So the ad lib one sound like this. And one thing I do want to show you guys too is I actually use my Rage Master preset, which is available at my website. You just go to quintababa.com and you can see there's this mastering preset button right at the top. And you just click this one right here, the Rage Master. I use this on pretty much all my Rage beats and stuff like this. Let me show you guys what it sounds like. So here's what it sounds like without the Rage Master preset. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, that sounds fine. But with the preset, it adds a lot of like warmth, a little bit of distortion, 
and it just really fills out the body of everything so it just it sounds so much better let me show you guys what it sounds like with it on if you listen with headphones or studio monitors you're going to notice a difference right away but i think that's all I gotta show you guys right now, so let me just show you guys a quick little live freestyle. Put on my hand, I put on my back, yeah. put on my guitar, I feel like he ain't. Hold on, walk in this bitch with a motherfucking stick on my hip, and I let that bitch eat. Let that bitch eat, then I'm coming for weed. Huh. I hit a three P, yeah. I hit a three P, yeah. I hit a three P, yeah. Give me a three piece, yeah. Walk in this bitch with a stick on my yeah. I got this bitch on my dick, and she yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a lot of little money. I got a lot of little money. I throw that shit for the funny, yeah. Huh. Bitch on my dick and she riding my meal and she said that I love it, I love it, I love it. I know that she love it, I know that she love it. She suckin' my dick and I get it, but I'm blowin' that bitch from the front, blowin' that bitch from the back and I'm fuckin' it up. Blowin' that bitch from the front, blowin' that bitch from the back and I'm fuckin' it up. I don't got nothing to say to these bitches. Why they be lookin' at them? I don't want nothing. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Goddamn, that was hard to freestyle on, but I think it turned out pretty good. If you guys did enjoy this one, if you liked the preset, if you grabbed the preset, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned for more videos to come. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. But yeah, as far as the video goes, that's pretty much it. Well, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Deuces.